So let's dig in to one of your songs. Okay. I'd like to uh, talk about the prettiest thing. Let's start with, while we were talking of inspiration, what inspired that song? Well, I do remember how that song happened. I can't say that about many, but uh, it was down there. Uh, my wife and I, 1970, end of 76, moved from Greensboro to Wilmington. Had this kind of arts council job there. and uh, She was pregnant with our son and plays drums with me now. He's 35, so um, it was snowing. We went out driving around, wound up at Riceville Beach. Yeah. Little old bar out there, and you know, a bunch of guys, people been in there with like for days drinking, and yeah, it was a good atmosphere. And we sat there and had a few beers, oceans rolling in. Right. The song, I never, my songs are never truly all biographical, they always take a turn because you know, the truth of it is like, you know, we went back, had a good life, had kids, you know, still with each other, and very happily married. Yeah. But uh, the song, the guy in the song, you gotta have some tension there. So, yeah. you know, he's a drunk and he loses her, and you know he's full of regret. Right. Which fortunately, I had to like imagine that. I've been fortunate not to have experienced that. But I guess I have a lot of empathy for people, so I put myself in that position. Yeah, you have to, you have to be able to put yourself inside of it. To, yeah. To make well, I say, you know, my my life isn't very that interesting. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's very monastic almost. You know, it's, uh, well, you are a lawyer. Well, yeah, I, mean, I have to put a lot of attention, <laughs> a lot of time to reading and writing. Yeah. So uh, if I just wrote about my own life, it'd be pretty damn boring. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I look for other places. Right. <laughs> so. That song started that many years ago, and uh, you, you put that on record. Uh, yeah, that's all Room 23. Yeah. And then these boys named the Avid Brothers started playing it uh, at their shows. I wish the hell they put on a record. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to do that if you see them. Yeah. But no, they, I, I ran into my daughter last uh, last spring at the Farmer's Market in Mount Holland. She's like, Daddy, I guess you heard me. You know, the Avery Brothers put a video out of that song. <laughs> and that was a thrill to me. You know, it was kind of like something I've been working on for years and yeah. to get that kind of acknowledgement. Yeah. Scott put another one, another song out like this. So. Who knows? I'm just glad. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people have heard the song and uh, yeah, that's, that's what. Yeah. What's well, a good song? Thank you. Why don't you play it for us? Ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to do something. No, I'll play. You better. <laughs> hey. Ain't no breaking the rules here. We got a job to do. David Childers, y'all, on Soundcraft Live. You're the boss. You're the boss. 